Hello, I'm Lunjun, and in today's video, I'll be summarizing everything that has been added in the new 7.9.0 update. If you enjoy this video, please like and subscribe as it'll help me a ton. And let's get into the summary. So the next season will be called the Storm Season, and the featuring dice will be the Storm Dice. It seems like they are releasing a new dice every season, so that's something nice to note about. Anyway, the season dice for Storm Season will be Recharge and Summoner. The crit chance you get from recharge will obviously help out recharge decks and for summoner it will be for combo decks. I'm excited to see how much this affects the pvp arena and let's go into the next thing in this update. We have a new dice and it's called storm dice. Storm dice works similarly to overheat that it replaces the power up button to a buff button to the dice. However it is different from overheat since the stacks actually do permanently stay. This means as long as you have SP, you will permanently do even more damage likewise the recharge dice. If you press the power up button, it will spawn a small cloud that will spawn on top of the frontmost mob, and it will gradually move towards the mob spawning gate, inflicting damage towards the mobs. The cloud itself will slowly grow in size and it will deal damage more quickly as it goes. To power up or stack the storm dice, you must use SP and this SP is equivalent to your SP to spawn count. I am quite excited to see a new DPS dice since we haven't had one in a while, a bunch of losers trying to nerf nukes, but yeah. To help with players unlocking the new storm dice, Random Dice has released a new package that gives a 20% chance to drop a storm dice. If you have the gems, I strongly recommend you get it. The old dice tower game mode has returned and this time there are a few adjustments. First of all, they made a new stage by adding endless mode to the event. Upon reaching floor 10 of Dice Tower, you can play Endless Mode with the same deck you finish floor 10. However, you will not get any additional SP from the mobs during Endless Mode. I don't think this is a huge deal, I mean, they give out okay rewards, but once again, it's a leaderboard system so I probably won't bother too much with it. There are two brand new cosmetic options added to this update. First one being a new Battlefield skin for the final Coliseum, and the other one being a corresponding monster skin pack. To get the Sweet Swamp Final Coliseum board skin, you must pay with 10 skin puzzles, and to get the monster pack, you must pay 5. I honestly like how they are adding new cosmetic options for this game, because I truly think that it lacked a lot of skins and customization, but I dislike how hard it is to get skin puzzles. There is a new adjustment for Dice Academy, and they changed some of the difficulty for star point missions in some stages. The stages that are changed are 5, 6, 9, 12, 14, and lastly, 15. Here's a small clip to compare the old versus the new. Thank you so much for watching this video, I will now work on the new Storm Dice video, so I'll see you guys then. Have a wonderful day.